2018, when I was running for governor, I took time off the trail in September to go home to Mississippi and visit my grandmother. And when I went home to see her in Mississippi, she lived with my parents and I went into her bedroom and she said, did I ever tell you about the first time I voted? And I said, no, grandma, you didn't. She said it was 1968. That Tuesday, my grandmother and grandfather had taken off from work early. They were at home putting on their Sunday best because they were going to cast their first ballots. My grandfather called for her from the front room. He said, Wilter, it's time to go. And my grandmother didn't respond. So then he used the nickname, the name I heard for her most of my life. He said, Bill, it's time to go. And she still didn't respond. So my grandfather came back to the back room to look at it. He's like, what is going on? We got to go. And my grandmother is dressed, but she is sitting on her bed and she is frozen. And my grandfather says, what's wrong? She's like, I don't want to go. He said, what do you mean you don't want to go? He said, you remember, our children got arrested for this. I fought in two wars, World War II and the Korean War, for democracy abroad that I was denied when I got home. We marched for this. Why do you mean you don't want to go? And she said, I'm afraid. But I wasn't afraid of the guns or the hoses. I wasn't afraid of the dogs or the billy club. Stacy, I was afraid of the power. For the first time in 42 years, I was a real citizen in the United States of America and I did not believe it could be true because what if it was? She was terrified that for the first time in her life, she had the power to change the future. Rabin County, we are afraid of our power in Georgia. But in November 2022, we are going to reach out and we are going to rise up and we're going to take our power back in the state of Georgia. So help me get there. Let's get it done.